What's up guys? It's Apollo here. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to Seven Kingdoms Total War. Today we're going to see an ambush battle and ambushing me is Jackie Fish. Yo, how is it going? Oh yeah, it's going. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm super pumped to show off the House Dane, which is an awesome, awesome house in the new Seven Kingdoms update. And this is the first time you're looking at it, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the first time I've seen the update. We've got some really cool units on the battlefield. Also, we have Ellen DeGeneres getting ambushed. No, I'm just kidding. That's obviously Joffrey, uh, but it kind of looks like Ellen a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's so cool. He's got his bodyguard here and the hound is right next to him. And, you know, I might just make the hound walk away during the middle of the battle or something. Fuck the king and leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, I am leading um, the Crownlands. So that's basically the King Landing, King's Landing guard, watch, patrol force. They look fantastic. You want to go ahead and just uh, look at the units? You want to start with your army? Yeah, we can start with my army. Uh, so can you see all of my force? Because obviously I am ambushing you, so can you actually see them? I'm pretty sure I can see everything. Oh, cool. We'll start from I... the left-hand side uh, with my forces. I have on the front line, I have a whole ton of these Starfall levies. Starfall obviously being the main city for House Dane. These guys are looking really cool. I love the mix of like Eastern look of the swords. Obviously they are from House Dawn. But even like the weak units still look pretty heavily armored. So very, very nice. And again, the detail on the sword is awesome awesome it's got like rusting in it is uh, they've definitely outdone themselves once again with wow. this update then as we go back we have some of my guardsmen melee so these are my elite swordsmen these dudes will get stuck in i love the, the the way they've got round shields and again just the detail with the with the sigils on their chests and stuff look really really nice and as we continue to go down my battle line, we can see that I have some of my men-at-arms melee infantry. So again, these are just more lightly armored infantry units, kind of my medium tier. They have smaller shields, not as much chest protection, and not as much leg protection as well. So these guys will do okay, nothing too amazing. Then we also have uh, my general as well, good old Edric Dane. Uh, he looks awesome, really, really cool back there. Again, a really nice custom model, because I'm pretty sure we haven't seen anything from House Dane in the TV show, so I like the way they have just created him, and he does look pretty cool. Uh, then, finally, I think I have my archers, which are over here. We can see that my archer force, again, just pretty much a basic longbow unit, uh, nothing too spectacular there, just with some headgears. And then, finally, I have my cavalry. I have this melee cavalry. Again, I love the way they have the curved swords. Very cool. And then finally, my lancer cavalry over here. The Lancer Cavalry look really cool. They remind me of like a Genghis Khan type cavalry yeah. unit. Round shield, spears, and like the, the horse Ooh. horse tail on the back of their helmets. So yeah, that is my army. Let's go ahead and look at your army before it gets annihilated. <laughs> it probably will after looking at your forces. I'm like, oh god. Uh, so we'll start with my general. So of course I have, uh, I have Joffrey. He's... I'm sure everybody wants him to die, but I'm gonna try to keep him alive here today. And his bodyguard, which look just amazing. They did such a good job. It's mind blowing, the detail that they added to this, this mod is fantastic. And then I've got the Faith Militant. So, you know, I don't, I, I might just send them in first because I hate these bastards in the show, in, in the story. So yeah, they look cool, but yeah, they're probably gonna die today. The rest of my infantry all pretty much looks the same but they have different roles. So I have some javelins uh, down the line. I also have um, some crossbows. So instead of having javies, they've got crossbows. Uh, so yeah, nothing too different in the armor and detail. Uh, I, I'm also bringing some longbows. I have some just melee like swordsmen. No shields, unfortunately. So I will be uh, trying to dodge some arrows. And uh, I think way down here, I've got spears. So they also look pretty fantastic. And then I also have some pikes way at the end. So that's my pike force. And I also have some cav. I got some outriders, so that's a skirmishing cav. And then way at the very end, I have uh, some lancers. Again, they all look very similar. So, which makes sense because it's like the patrol, you know, the guard of King's Landing. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that's pretty- The oh, capes, yeah, I was gonna say, the capes look so good. They really do on the, yeah, on the back yeah. of the town guard. Like so much detail has gone into them. 
Oh yeah, that's true. Wow, I didn't even notice that. That is that's awesome. Yeah, that's too really, good. Really, really cool. Also, something I should mention as well before we get started, this is still a work in progress build, so yeah. stuff might change, you know, before this does go live for you guys. As well as that, someone did mention in my last video that uh, the Kingsguard should only be seven. There should only be seven Kingsguard plus uh, plus Joffrey, and there's eleven in this unit. So uh, okay. that maybe that's something that will change before. You, uh, probably everyone's already typed that down below in the comments, but just in case they have yeah that makes that's cool so cool the details yeah yeah cool. i'm ready yeah, cool. let's go ahead Here and we. send my army forward so we have already set our commands and everything so hopefully all the troops will be moving forward and once again aztec has not disappointed us at all with an amazing looking map as we get our oh, first yeah. cavalry charge oh god oh i'm not even paying attention i was looking at the troops nice cavalry already come flying in well, that's a rough start. <laughs> yep. I mean, did you look how many kills, uh, how many kills, I mean, sorry, how many men I have compared to you? It's pretty, uh, pretty disgusting. Oh, wow. It's like two to one. Yeah. Obviously, I did, I think I spent about 5,000 gold, more gold than you. So we did try and make, like, balance it out that way. That I kind of got a bit of an advantage, but I made sure I just brought a ton of units instead of just building, like, high quality units. Yeah, yeah, I see that the uh, the mod still has the standing horseman glitch. Oh, yep, yep, I saw that. <laughs> hey, he's just showing off, you know, in battle, trying to impress the girlies. Uh, should we slow-mo it quickly yeah. before this charge comes yeah, out? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm hoping so yeah, I pushed up some pikes to help deal with that calf force. Hopefully that can help out. Yeah, that should definitely um, oh. help turn the tide for you guys. Oh, my infantry boat is getting really close to that missile line. You better be careful. Uh, hi, hi. Yeah, I've got to be very careful. Oh my god. Bring up my archers as well to help out a little bit. Yeah, the pike should definitely help turn that battle in your favor. This is so epic. You know, I really hope they expand on the mod, like being able to mod the map. A campaign in this would be unbelievable. Yeah, Just so good. You think how many units they have already for all the different houses. There'd be so many good playable factions. And again, like something I'm really, really hopeful for is when they do the next uh, mini DLC uh, historical title, which they said they're probably going to be releasing this year. If they go ahead and drop that and maybe we'll get mod tools alongside that game when it, if it does come out or when the DLC does come out. If we get mod tools and that fixes all the issues, we're going to see so many people coming back to Attila and messing around with custom maps. Imagine Attila but with the maps of Warhammer, you know, people actually be able to create stuff like that. It'd be yeah, so good. Yeah. Imagine like 1212, the stuff they could create alongside, you know, the Rise of Mordor, Seven Kingdoms, you know, all their maps and you know, yep. ancient empires. They'd be able to create some amazing stuff. Create King's Landing. Oh, like yeah, how amazing. You see. Yeah, it would be so cool. Oh man, we can only dream. Yeah, I'm yeah. really, I, I've got a good feeling though. You know, there's something I, I think, you know, they made that announcement about how they're going to be expanding upon their historical titles and stuff. So maybe just hopefully they will add uh, a nice modding tool to uh, Attila, which I'm telling you, like they would sell so many, so many copies of the game if they just did that. Yeah, well, I think we've talked about it several times where we, we, we talked about, you know, how well Third Age has done for Medieval 2 Total War. Now, obviously, they can't acknowledge that because it's copyrighted material. But imagine yeah. you're a fully functional Rise of Mordor playthrough like, campaign in Attila. Like, that would just be mind-blowing. Yeah, it'd be so cool. Uh, but yeah, you're chewing up my lines. Really, yeah. Joffrey's in the fight. Oh, really? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, he's... Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. I want to zoom yeah. in here. With his king's guard. I'm, I'm, the... I'm getting him out of there. He's like, I'm scared. <laughs> the hound. Yeah, I see the hound right there. Is the hound going to 1v1 one of my dudes? The hound's like, oh, oh the hound no, is going to get slaughtered. <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, God. Fuck the king indeed. Oh, uh, dude. And that guy just got another kill. Yep, I saw it Jeez. right beside him. The rest of my infantry is turning up now. How's my cavalry <laughs> done? Oh, the cavalry is, has been uh, victorious this day. So let's wedge formation. Let's get in this rank and uh, do Jeez. some messy stuff. I need to find my elite infantry because I haven't really seen them fighting. I think they're only just about joining the battle now. Yeah, obviously the town militia aren't like, or the town watch aren't really a uh, a fighting force. So they're not going to stand up to, you know, to my army. You know, these guys are, are somewhat trained fighters, at least my guardsmen are. Yeah, 
I think uh, your your skill of your soldiers is just gonna completely overwhelm oh. your lines. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't because like if you, if you were another faction, I think this would be a lot closer. But because I guess these guys just aren't that strong, so because of that, uh, they because yeah. obviously in the Crown Lands faction you get access to the Reach and. Uh, and the Lannisters as well. So I think what you're supposed to do is just kind of buff out. You know, this is only supposed to be a some portion. Of them. Yeah, yeah, a portion of yeah. your army. Yeah, I made the analogy before we started recording. It's kind of like having the Town Watch and Skyrim kind of fight the battle, an entire army of Town Watch. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Well, this is an ambush battle after all, so it's not like you were expecting. Yeah. You know, you were I just was, going yeah. on a, a routine march somewhere. You know, to visit and the. The house dane had up uh, other ideas so i think it's yeah. time to bring in the general where's joffrey joffrey's just like he's joffrey? got four bodyguards i'm kind of disappointed on how quickly the yeah. uh, bodyguard died I, I think in the proper build they're gonna be much much stronger because he was telling me uh that they're gonna have all special abilities and they're just gonna be like really really op so hopefully in the future build we'll see a bit of a better uh better showing from the king's guard Oh my god. <laughs> it would be cool to see them like buff up the units so they fight a little bit longer. Yeah, I think this get uh, this mod for balancing they've all, all decided just to have these kind of quicker battles like this. Um, yeah. obviously we're very much on the opinion that we we like our long drawn out battles yeah. very very yeah, much. Yeah, grindy fights. Yeah, we we like that. That's obviously a different direction that what they want to take the mod in. All right, Joffrey's going to charge in. Oh, good. Let's go ahead and watch him what die. What a hero. What a hero. <laughs> He's rallying the resistance. He is dude, charging dude, dude. his men forward. Well, even, even when disaster's right on his doorstep, he's got a smug-ass cool. look on his face. <laughs> it's just Joffrey is a, a, an amazing king. Wait, where is Joffrey? Is he dead? No, okay. He's, he, he led he's... the King's Guard into battle. Joffrey is a king we can believe in. Yeah, he did. Oh, he got a kill. He's like, yes, I got a kill. <laughs> what, what really happened was uh, that, that soldier was extremely wounded and Joffrey just came up yeah. and poked him in the <laughs> yeah. back. One of the bodyguard, they just like set it up for him <laughs> to get the kills. They're just holding each limb of the dude. Oh. King's got to doing pretty well now. You know, they're getting stuck yeah, in. Yeah, there they go. They're like, we're going to fight to the death. Oh, Joffrey's in an epic battle. Come on, King's guard. Support Joffrey. Yeah, save your king. He's in a 2v1 right now. He's the future of our kingdom. Yeah, he just got stabbed. Oh, one of them got, got shot by an arrow? I think it was a jab. A oh, jabby. A javelin, nice. Oh, oh yeah, I can see the javelins going. There we go. Joffrey racking up the kills. Watch out. Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> so I've just been watching this battle. I have so many units just sitting around. It looks like it's going to be a really short one. But don't worry, guys. Yeah. We're, we're going to record more battles after this. So. Oh, absolutely. So if you are enjoying yeah. this, then, you know, this was kind of more just to show off the, the new couple new factions. So don't worry. We'll have oh. a more uh, lengthier battle next time for sure. Yeah, especially when the mod is more complete. We're definitely going to do more online battles. So it's not just us, you know, doing sh these showcase type battles. Oh, yeah. I mean, we should definitely set that up because, you know, the, the mod has so many factions now. We could definitely have a, you know, a maybe even just a, a 4v4 battle where we have someone bring, you know, each one of the, ha each one of the major houses. That would be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be awesome. If I mean, there's had... so much we can do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If only we had free-for-all, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. I know. That would be amazing. All right, Joffrey's going for a suicide charge in your uh, strong or your men-at-arms. Oh, cool. Let's go ahead and counter charge him. And Joffrey is leading the men. He yeah, look at him. Them. See, this is how he should have died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just look at him. Oh, right like in the head. nuts. That dude's head is off. <laughs> People standing in the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The units look so cool. King's Guard are definitely earning their keep now. They've been killing oh. a bunch more. See realist. Oh, Joffrey's dead. Joffrey's oh, no. dead. A hundred gold dragons to that man. <laughs> yeah. Cool, Honestly, that... you probably should have just captured him instead of yeah. killing him. But... No, fuck the king. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Okay, cool. Now it's time just to, to run a muck of your units and end this once and for all. Yeah, I guess we could do uh, normal speed here. Yeah, as we just go back. That was a really quick battle.
I guess the, yeah. I guess the crowd lands just because they don't have many guardsmen infantry. They just get chewed up by like the guardsmen infantry of everyone else, and we gave gave me a little bit of an advantage because we expected it to be, you know, them to actually have some pretty sturdy infantry. But unfortunately, they didn't. So at least we know next time. There we go. Close victory for House Dane. Oh man, that was awesome. I think really House, awesome I think stuff. House Dane are one of my favorite factions in this mod now. They look, they look awesome. Yeah, they look really yeah. cool. They kind of got the mix of like that eastern feel with the, uh, you know, with the more uh, southern feel to them. Yeah. Yeah, look at a lot of your units didn't even see action. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> like, were just like sent in, and I just forgot about them and zoomed in on Joffrey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, Joffrey only getting thirteen kills, which is a little disappointing, yeah. especially since he had the the guard think, and the hound. I mean, you have to take into account that he only has eleven soldiers in his units, so there's less people for him to kill. But I definitely would love to see them get a bit more upgraded. Yeah, yeah, I could have put more chevrons on him, but yeah, that was a great little showcase battle, seeing new factions there. I really enjoyed that one. Um. Jackie Fish, always great to have you slaughtering my men. <laughs> Don't worry, it comes like a. I'm just used to it by now, you know. Oh, it's like okay, a. It's I like see. I come in Monday morning ready to slaughter some of like, your soldiers. All right, what army do I have to kill now? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me and Jackie Fish, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek. To this isn't out yet, is it? No, I think it comes out the, this, this week, patch? maybe. Well, I'll make sure the link this to week, the, so. the mod DP page anyway, so you guys can check it out and see for yourself. Yeah. So check it out. Do some online battles. Have some fun. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.